We're experiencing change at an unprecedented exponential rate, perhaps nowhere more so than in the automotive industry. Take this little computer here. It is the brain of most self-driving cars, cost less than $1,500 and has 65 teraflops. Just two years ago, had half the power and was double the cost. And the next generation is already in development. Artificial intelligence is at the root of all of this and will drive not only the automobile industry, but many adjacent industries forward. From infrastructures like gas stations to the insurance industry and even energy drinks, which we no longer need anymore as we can sleep while our cars drive themselves. The question becomes, what do we do with these incredible opportunities? What will they mean for the automotive industry and for the boards which govern them? To better understand the true impact of AI, I'm heading to meet Carol Riley, a roboticist, pioneer of autonomous robot systems and founder of Drive.ai. So what do you think is the future of mobility? As we're going through this next industrial revolution, uh, we're really starting to see the core competency of hardware changing to software. So we're going to start seeing new types of automotive companies that are software driven coming out. And I think that's really exciting as you start having more personalization and a different customer experience that's based around software features. What do you think are the major hurdles uh, for the mass adoption of autonomous vehicles? The first is going to be technology and the second is going to be public trust. A recent study showed that over 50% of people are actually scared of self-driving cars. The stat today is 1.6 million people globally die every year from car accidents and 94% of that is preventable. There's just humans not paying attention. So I think with the rollout of self-driving cars, it's ultimately going to be safer and we need it as soon as possible. So with all these dramatic changes at hand, what do you think board members need to know and how do you think they need to act? One of the first things would be to bring your domain expertise and help a young team focus on the right problems. I think too often people get caught up in how cool a tech solution is instead of solving for the core problems that bring the most value for the company. So I think you can help a team by asking questions and keeping them focused on the problem that they need to solve. Now let's dive deeper into the implications for boards. To gain perspective, I'm meeting with Chimin Bolin, a longtime executive at one of the world's leading tech companies who now serves as board director of public and private organizations around the world. So in your experience, um, what do you think are the main challenges boards face in terms of AI and technology disruption? We all know human intelligence, but we ought to think of artificial intelligence as machine intelligence with cognitive thinking, that this is several brains that now operate and exist within your organization. That'll create a whole different mindset when us as board members are setting the strategy. What do you think is the impact of these changes on the, the workforce? That's a question that's been asked many a times. Uh, the concept that AI is gonna come in and wipe all the, the jobs is not necessarily a truism. Why don't we look at AI with a different set of optics and says the value of AI as an example is to free up the workforce so that we can upscale them and rescale them. What AI will do actually is automate some of the task. The jobs will still be there. There's a huge opportunity for both humans and AI applications and tool sets to work together. With all that being said, what is your advice for a board member? What we as board members need to look for and anticipate is change is only going to accelerate. So in the boardroom, we had better be thinking about futures, who our future customer will be, how the marketplace will be, how it will be significant different. What are the moonshot opportunities? Let's now find out what it takes for an organization not just to survive, but thrive. I'm going to meet Keith Stryer, a leading authority on artificial intelligence at EY. From your perspective for a board in the mobility space, 
What do they need to look out for? In the auto sector, artificial intelligence is having a profound impact on, on, on both the operations, the manufacturing, the very architecture of the product, as well as the customer experience. They need to continue to invest in what the very nature of what that car experience is like. It's not just a machine that gets me from point A to point B, it's a, it's a new kind of experience. And I think that people, especially the Gen Z generation, who look at cars as just a utility, they look at it as a service to consume, not just as a product to buy. From a board perspective, uh, I think they need to step back and truly reevaluate what is the future of our business in the age of, of these new technologies. How do boards need to think about trust? Well, boards really need to move beyond just managing risk in the age of artificial intelligence. You have to shift the mindset from managing risk to sustaining trust. Ultimately, we recommend really thinking about trust in a framework and applying that framework to all of the experiences that are impacted by AI. If you don't take that full sort of holistic approach, it's very difficult to sustain trust over time. So what steps should board take to, to really leverage this new opportunity? I think boards need to think big. We believe that artificial intelligence gives way to the possibility for machine scale performance, which really is fundamentally changing the basis for competition. So boards need to consider that potential and really push their management teams, not just to focus on short-term incremental gains, but on long-term market-defining potential. I think there's a genuine danger for companies that hold off on artificial intelligence, that don't get in the game quickly. Customers are starting to expect artificial intelligence, whether they understand it or not. So if you're not meeting that new expectation with customers, your experience you're providing, the service you're providing, will feel increasingly dated and uncompetitive. The exponential growth in computing and AI, converging with the latest breakthroughs in sensor technology and deep learning algorithms, will fundamentally change the way the automotive and mobility industry functions. For organizations to thrive, their boards have to equally transform the way they lead. And those who get it right in this world will have an unsurmountable advantage over their competitors.